Right off the bat, I, I got to hit you with one. Uh, where does the cool kid Garrett come from on your Twitter account? Um, uh, I see, like, it was something that was back home. Yep. Uh, a lot of my friends, like, they would just say I was, like, I was always too laid back or whatever. And it just came from my friends. It was the name my friends gave me. Um, hitting the rewind button a little bit as well. Uh, your time at Notre Dame Prep, what was it like playing for Coach Hurd? Uh, it was a great experience. He's a really good coach. It was, it was really good playing for him. He taught me a lot of things. This particular style was basically a up-tempo. Mm -hmm. A very, very fast, and getting after the ball and everything, pick up full court. Is that one of the factors that you took into consideration in deciding to, to play for Coach Hurley here? Yes. Yep. Yes, because I know Coach Hurley. Coach Hurley basically do the same thing, play fast tempo. We like to get into the guys and everything. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. How about the Nepsack in, in general? I mean, it's known as a great league. Yeah. Um, your thoughts on, on playing? Uh, it was, the Nepsack was really great. It was, it was way different from home. Because back home, we didn't have a shot clock, so yeah, the game was a lot faster. Hmm. So I had to get used to playing with a shot clock, eliminating your time and everything, managing the time. But it was, it was really good. Your experience so far here at, let's, let's talk about maybe not on the court, but off the court. Um, what's it been like just getting to Rhode Island you know, getting the lay of the land as far as campus is concerned. Um, being being here, being off campus and everything, walking around campus, it's, it's been a great experience because like a lot of the, like a lot of people in the area, like they they come on like outgoing and mm -hmm. real talkative, and then like you just introduce yourself, like everything be fun. Shifting to on the court, uh, what are your thoughts on playing in a building like the Ryan Center here? Uh, when I first saw it, it was big. It was big. It was like one of the biggest gyms, one of the biggest college gyms I've been into. As far as your your game and, and skill set, uh, is, is there a particular player that you try to pattern your game after? And how would you describe your own game? I would say my game is a type of crisp ball type of game. Uh, change of pace. Like to use the ball screens a lot. Like to seal his man a lot. Like to play defense. Uh, get his man's involved and everything. Score when he have to and just be the leader of the team. As far as uh, still staying with your game, but what in particular have you been working out maybe outside of team workouts? Uh, I've been working on my uh, jump shot mm -hmm. and then getting back to my floaters and stuff, knowing that you can't get to the rim all the time. So I've been working on my floater and my change of speeds coming off the ball screen and everything, reading the defense off the ball screen. And that's about it. What are your expectations for yourself personally this year? Um, uh, my expectation, I just say I just have to do, do what I have to do, do whatever Coach Hurley wants me to do and just get it done. And then what about for the team? Uh, hopefully, we go, hopefully we get the uh, conference championship, get more wins on our belt. When you think of the Atlantic 10 as a conference, what comes to mind? And what are your impressions of the Atlantic 10 having seen the level of play? Uh, the Atlantic 10, I say, is very physical. There's a lot of good teams mm -hmm. that a lot of people don't know about, but it's very, it's a very high level conference. What are your thoughts on Coach Hurley so far, having now gotten into summer sessions with him? Uh, I love him. I love Coach Hurley. He's a, he's a great, he's a great coach. Um, what is it about him, you know, that, uh, that, that you enjoy playing for him? Um, I would say one thing I love about him is that he was a point guard, so like I just feel that we have things in common because we both played the same position, and yeah, that's about it. As far as being a point guard um, is concerned, um, what do you think is is maybe the number one character trait or or the key that you have have to have as a player to being a good point guard? Um, a high basketball IQ. I feel you have to have a high basketball IQ and always know your awareness on the court. And just be that, that floor general. And I feel you'll be, you'll be a good point guard. What gives you the most sense of joy when, when, when you're playing? What type of play that you might make, whether it's scoring, dishing? Uh, what gives me so pumped is like seeing my, uh, my teammates score. Like, say if I throw an alley and they dunk it, it's like the crowd get pumped up. So it's like the, the, the game, the game changer is the game changer. So I just like to see my teammates score.